With the Google Home Hub out now, it's left a lot of people wondering, do I go with the Google Home Hub or a Google Home speaker? There's only a $50 price difference between these two things, which has made that decision a lot tougher for a lot of people out there who have left comments on some of my previous videos. So I wanted to do a video that goes over whether or not you should go with a Google Home Hub or a Google Home or a Google Home Mini. Now, personally, I have one Google Home Hub and eight or nine Google Home speaker devices. So hopefully my experience can help shed some light for those of you who are struggling with this decision. Now, the Google Home Hub can do basically everything a Google Home can. So I'm going to structure this video a little differently in where I'm only going to talk about the areas where the Google Home Hub adds to the overall experience of a Google Home speaker. And the first area I want to talk about is music playback. If music playback is important to you, the Google Home does sound slightly better compared to the Home Hub. If you're really into music and willing to spend money for great sound though, I do have to recommend the Google Home Max. It's a really fantastic sounding speaker and it's made by Google. If watching YouTube videos on your Google Home device is important to you, the Google Home Hub is probably the way to go with its native YouTube integration. However, if you have a Chromecast hooked up to your TV, you can always ask Google to play a specific YouTube video on your TV from your Google Home speaker, which may give you the best experience if you like watching YouTube videos on your TV. The advantage with the Home Hub is that it'll give you multiple results to choose from on its screen. Another way to help figure out whether or not to get the Home Hub or a Google Home speaker is to ask yourself where exactly you plan on placing your device in your residence. If you're planning on placing a Google Home device in an area where it'll be seen a lot or a place where you spend more than an hour a day like your nightstand, a desk, a side table next to a couch or in your kitchen, I'd suggest getting the Google Home Hub. Now, when I first got my Google Home Hub, I didn't exactly know where to put it, but I quickly realized that I really like this device and wanted to see it more. So I ended up placing it on my desk where I spend a good amount of time when I'm working from home. Having a Google Home Hub at arm's reach in a place that you spend a lot of time when you're at home is great for a few reasons. One, it allows me to control all of my smart home devices with touch, which is sometimes faster than using my voice. Two, it gives you more control over your music, displaying more music controls, and it'll also display the artist and the song currently playing, even if you've asked it to play music on a speaker group that the Home Hub is not a part of. The third reason why I love my Home Hub within arm's reach is that it's easy to create calendar invites and reminders with the tap of a finger rather than with your voice, which I also find very convenient. Using the Google Home Hub as a digital picture frame has been one of my favorite parts about the Home Hub. If you know you're going to put your Google Home device in a place where you'll be looking at it a lot, like at your desk, and you like the idea of seeing all of your digital photos fade in and out on a display throughout the day, then the Google Home Hub is the device for you. It's also great in situations where you have company over and it's within sight of your guests. Let's say you just got back from a trip to New Zealand and a guest wants to see the photos from your trip. Well, assuming that those photos are already in your Google Photos library, you can just ask the Google Home Hub to show me my pictures from my New Zealand trip. And it'll then display it right there for all your guests to see. Now, the last area where the Google Home Hub outshines the Google Home speakers, in my opinion at least, is with recipes. If you're planning to do a lot of baking or cooking with your Google Home device, the Google Home Hub is hands down the one to get. All Google Home devices can guide you through recipes through audio, but being able to actually see the ingredients and steps brings this experience to another level. Well, I hope this video helps those of you out there on the fence about which Google Home device to buy. And if you like this video, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this one. Also, if you think I missed a difference between these two devices, definitely let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to read our reviews, check out our website, 6-months-later.com. Well, thanks again for watching. 
I'm Josh Tedder for Six Months Later.